We always eat at this pizza place called Bujo's. For now, so really like, wants yeah, some pizza. Yeah, yeah. And then they hook it down on the menu. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. So the cool thing about this pizza is you put honey on it. I would never put honey on a pizza anywhere else, but here, it's so good. Isn't it, Chef? <laughs> Well, that was a real delight. What did that you think about that? How was that gluten-free crust it was for you? It was like really good. It was crispy and salty. It was good. Okay. The non-gluten-free was really great also. All right. Beginning of day two. We didn't vlog yesterday because we were just getting our mountain bearings again. We went to dinner and we just kind of explored the hotel. There are tons of people here. I think it's because it's a Sunday. I also did a really cool renovation to the lobby. We usually come around Christmas, so it's so funny not seeing the Christmas tree here. So now we're going to Flame, where they have a breakfast buffet that we like to go to. Here's the crew. And here is the VIP member of the crew. Should we take the elevator down? Woke up last, or woke up this morning at 5 a.m because it's like 6 a.m. at home, so it's not that like crazy of a difference, but I'm a little bit tired. As a mother, you learn how to deal with things like that, and this breakfast buffet is making it a lot better. So I'm gonna try and stay as close to my Weight Watchers points as possible, but this might be my splurge meal. I mean, these grits, yes. I'm getting a waffle now. Hey, I want to show you just like out the window. The pool is here, the spa's on this side, our room is up here. This is the mountain where we're going to be skiing. We just ate breakfast and um, it is starting to snow. I guess it's just like living in the south. Every time it starts to snow, it's just like so magical. So um, we just booked some spa appointments. This pool is heated, which I would be swimming constantly in that pool. But we have Shepherd up here in the room, so I can't just leisurely go do what I want to do. But um, this hot tub also here um, is so nice. But um, yeah, so it looks like people have just started skiing and making their runs down the mountain. That'll be us tomorrow. Alex and Michael are so sweet. They are watching Shepherd. So Kyle and I could run down to the spa and get a couple's massage and I'm so excited. You know, it's so funny when you bring a baby on a trip, like even if they're the best baby in the world like Shepherd, it's, it's just hard because unless you have a sitter lined up, which we did for a couple dinners, like you're kind of in the room. So that was really sweet of them. They're just such great friends and we love this spa. So. Oh, I call. Are you excited for your massage? We just got out of the massage. Now we're enjoying a little lunch. Um, I always like to order lunch before and have it waiting whenever we get out. We are fortunate enough to be able to get massages pretty often. I feel like I used to never get them in my life. Now, like when we can, we do. Hands down. That was the best massage I've ever had in my life. Kyle just said the same thing. Unbelievable. Okay, so we are out and about in Vail Village tonight. We had the most amazing couples massage ever. I got cupping done. He got cupping. So he I did an add-on of cupping. I did an add-on of this um, mask, which is why I don't have on makeup. I like for my face to be free post mask. So we are going to dinner at a restaurant called Mountain Standard tonight. I love Vail Village because it's just like Christmas never stops. It reminds me of like Switzerland. Uh, one of my favorite towns in the world is Zermatt, Switzerland and this just reminds me of that. We're just having the best time. We're so thankful to be here and with our friends and What's been our favorite part so far? We're going skiing tomorrow. So that We're so excited fun. to ski. I just love like breathing in the mountain air. Like just, Valerie. you know, like when you're in a place and you breathe in the air and you just feel like good energy and vibes. That's what I'm feeling. Some of our favorite food locations because we eat a lot here would be Sweet Basil. We love Mountain Standard. 
we like. There's a sushi restaurant in the bottom of the Solaris that we enjoy eating. But if you come over here near Mountain Standard, they have the coolest ice display. You gotta watch out for weirdos here. There's a lot of. Look at this. Ooh. Just kind of, they got this big sculpture in the middle. All right, Alex, put your tongue on it. <laughs> oh, <laughs> coronavirus. Serious. <laughs> we did see other people licking it. <laughs> 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 All right, I uh, wanted to show you the octopus, but it was so good it's done. We got some more olives, and we got some sashimi. Where is it? Pieces of sashimi. That was your plan. You were just sneakily going to put it in I got the pork. Top of the morning to you. Coming at you from Vale Village. We had the best time last night. So now we're going to ski today and we're super pumped. So they got four inches of fresh powder last night. And um, so our history with skiing, I've been skiing since I was about three three or four uh, we started coming to Beaver Creek and Vale and like every year so I've just you know really love skiing I've grown up doing it and I've been skiing three or four times so Kyle my life. really had to jump in and you know learn how to ski on one of the hardest mountains to ski in in the world but I'm good now I can do you're blues. great now yeah I'm athletic I can pick it up pretty quick <laughs> I'm just pumped to get to I want to do Hang a jump Kyle today, on the mountain all day. like a ski little jump. Okay, Maybe Kyle. Maybe a little stunt off a ramp or something. <laughs> so over here is this little ice skating rink. We stay there sometimes at the Solaris with my family. It's like a big um, two-story residence because um, there's so many of us. And what's cool is like Vale, it seems like just a winter town, but it's actually really amazing in the summer also. We are about ready I'm to hit ready the slopes. I'm ready to shred. We got our gear on. I just pumped in the uh, changing room. Never pumped in a in ski boots before. That's for sure. I always love these views. They're so beautiful when you're coming up the mountain. Look at this view from the top of the mountain. All right. Here we go. Lots of French toast. Yeah. And bacon. <laughs> 
Um, but we've just been having just the best time in the world. We were gonna go up the mountain again today and ski a little bit, but we really we literally skied all day long yesterday. So we're going back and forth. But um, we actually just extended our flight a few hours because we always do that on vacation. <laughs> I feel like we're always like we just need a few more hours. Don't we, Shippy? Today we're just gonna go out and about in the village and just hang with our little Miss Bayer. It's so special just having one-on-one -on -one time with Shepard too and then, you know, having that awesome babysitting service here too um, so that we can have one-on-one -on -one time with Alex and Michael. It's just been ideal. It's like we're always 50 yards away from Shepard, but it's like we can still enjoy like a nice dinner and he's tucked into his little bed with somebody great there watching him. Oh, oh, uh-uh. He says he, he says no. He wants to go to dinner tonight. Okay, you can go. Shaky, 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 shaky. One of my favorite little spots in the village. So cute during the day. We just saw Kenny G and his um, ski gear, didn't we, Kyle? Yeah. It was so like. Last time we had dinner beside him last night. <laughs> yeah. So he went for a ski today. So we were about to head back to the spa. We just had a nice little lunch. One of these places back here. It's really hard to get reservations at these good restaurants here. You have to make them like weeks in advance, so. We did that for last night. All right, we are at Sweet Basil. Michael's spooning out some crab dip. We've just been reminiscing about all of our trips together. They go too fast. It is the last day and we just got up. We actually moved our flight a little bit later. We just weren't ready to leave. <laughs> and um, this is like the living room and where we've been watching TV in the kitchen and then our rooms and bathrooms are back there. These um, rooms are amazing, these residences at Four Seasons. But look, it is pouring snow. So it's like a perfect morning to kind of wrap things up. This is just such a magical place to us. It's so funny. So four or five years ago, gosh, I can't remember. Uh, Kyle and I stayed in this room. We weren't even engaged yet. And I was like, Kyle, how funny that we're like literally across the way in this beautiful place with our second little baby. And like, you just, you just never know like where life's gonna take you. It was just a really cool like full circle moment. It is pouring snow on our way home. It's been snowing all morning. And it's actually kind of fun to drive in the snow. About to do some 360s in this world. Okay, Kyle. So how was the trip? Ah, uh, loved it. Had a great time. Um, what was your favorite part? I liked skiing with you, and I liked when we had some alone time. I like walking around the village and going to dinner with Michael and Alex. Um, and breakfast this morning it was fun. We love our little sweet boys, but sometimes you can't have an adult conversation with three children. <laughs> super grateful I mean this is a trip that we started taking five or six years ago and like I've been coming all my life but just Kyle and I and gosh we used to like save up to come and then just like this was our splurge and it's just really cool to be able to continue to come and we're so grateful we love the Four Seasons Vale we highly recommend it I know it's a pricier vacation but it's just it's one of those places that's just like one of the most special places in the world until next time, Vale. Until next time.